Okay, guys, I wanted to show you a gift that I had gotten uh, for Father's Day. Very nice. It's called the Grill Bot. And I want you to do a review of it. I, I haven't used it before, so I don't know whether it's good or not. Um, obviously, it was a gift. It doesn't matter to me whether it's good or not. But the, uh, so I'll just try to tell you the way it is. So it comes in a, in a uh, actually a very nice case. This hard plastic case, you could drop it. It's very well protected. It has this hook, uh, which I can't get at. Uh, just kind of locked in. But it'll allow you to hang it. Um, okay, got it. So you can hang it like this. Interesting. Not a bad idea for a garage. It comes in this hard case, you could drop it, it'll be protected. You open it up, there's a couple of clips here, and here it is. So, it fits really nicely in this case, which is great, and I thought I'd show this to you. It says grill bot. It's kind of like an eye rumba for grills, and it cleans the grills. Uh, I guess because it's in an enclosed area, it doesn't have to have all the sensors of an eye rumba. Um, it does have a charging port, it's USB, and I did charge it. Uh, it has these nylon bristle brushes, if you look at the bottom. These are, are removable for cleaning, according to the instructions, and they're, they're pretty hard. Now you can replace this with stainless steel brushes, I don't know that that's necessary. Uh, of course my neighbor's doing housework. Um, it weighs a few, it weighs about, I would say about three pounds. It uh, seems pretty solid. A couple of notes before we try it out is, I don't know if this is for everyone. I mean, there are a lot of instructions here. It says charge or discharge the battery to approximately 50% capacity before storage. So they want you to charge or discharge it. So they, they want you to store it only at 50% of the battery charge. Don't, like in other words, don't, like you usually do, um, charge it up and then put it away. They want you to keep it at about 50% capacity when not in use. Charge battery a maximum of 30 minutes every two or three months. So you have to keep charging this every two or three months. So if you're not a regular barbecue guy, I don't know how, uh, how often you're gonna be on top of this of charging this half an hour every two or three months. Are you really gonna do that? I'm not sure. It's very simple, the operation. They want you basically just to press the button once for 10 minutes, twice for 20 minutes, and three times for 30 minutes. Um, a couple of notes, it can be used uh, when the temperature is up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit on your barbecue. So a couple of things, I have two barbecues. I have a Kamado Joe, which is like the green egg. It runs on charcoal. And then I also have a Weber grill, which is a gas grill. Now the Weber grill, you can easily control the temperature. You just, you can use it, then let it cool down and, and do it while it's still hot, which is probably the best way because that's the easiest way to clean while it's hot. On the Kamado Joe or the Green Egg, you can't do that really. I, it, I don't know if you can bring it down to below 200 degrees and close it and put this in there. Maybe you can, but that's a lot more difficult. And uh, that being said, on a Kamado Joe or, or that I have with a green egg, it kind of self-cleans. You kind of run it and you just bring it up to like six, 700 degrees and then you just scrape it off and it's clean. I generally don't have to clean it. Um, on the Kamado, on the, um, that's on the Kamado Joe. On the Weber, you do have to clean it because you're never really getting that high of a temperature and it doesn't really clean as much. So it might actually be more useful for a Weber than on the Kamado Joe. But let's give it a look. Uh, I'll use it on both barbecues. We'll test it out and uh, we'll take a look. So let's let's start with the Kamado Joe. So here's a Kamado Joe. I just used it last night. Made some fantastic steaks. Put in some cherry oak. You should watch my steak making videos. It's it's a joy. Now, as you can see, it's it's actually pretty clean because it's so hot. It kind of just burns everything off. Um, 
and you do see here some carbon. Not trying to see that. So let's see how it does. And then we'll give a quick look at the Weber. The Weber is full of carbon and burnt particles. So maybe it'll be more useful in the Weber, uh, which is what I expect. So let's put this on. And I think it said press it three times. Once, it says 20, and now it says 30. Let's see what happens. That's kind of cool. Oh no, I'm trying to stay. Alright, so it is reaching the entirety of it, and it is scrubbing it. So, uh, let's give it a try to see. And uh, it does seem to know enough not to escape, so that's a good thing. Alright, so let's just kind of cover it up without crushing it. And uh, we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're back after half an hour uh, of cleaning. And I wanted to show you um, what it is. Uh, actually, I've taken this off and I've actually recharged it and I just put it down here. Uh, basically, just to give you a look at it, if you look at the brushes, this is half an hour of cleaning. It did, it did pick off a fair amount of uh, the carbon buildup. And if you look at this, uh, I would say it did do a, a nice job of cleaning it. And when I say it, it, it basically cleaned up, especially the top part. It, it's not really able to get underneath there, but I would say as far as the top part, it did do a decent job in terms of cleaning it. Okay, so that being said, would, would I buy this product, the uh, Grill Bot, to use on a Kamado Joe or green egg? My answer would be probably not, uh, because in any event, you're able to burn it off so well, and a quick brushing uh, is all you need, if that, um, that I probably wouldn't buy it for this. But if you have it, it's fine. It does help clean, um, but I don't think it's a game changer. But it does make a difference, you know, and... and to some extent, it's a preference. I probably wouldn't buy it for myself for this purpose, but having it, I would use it. And I think that's a fair characterization of it. So now that we've finished with the Kamado Joe, let's look at the Weber again. And the Weber is filthy. So I think it makes a good test bed. And I've recharged this, so it should be fair to says 30 okay so now it's going to do this and you can see how filthy this is oh look at the stuff falling off it's crazy come on buddy get back in there yeah i mean if you look here right away this stuff is scraped off right away all right so i think i'm better off just closing this stuff flying all over the place well okay we'll come back after half an hour okay so we're back and it's been half an hour and we'll check out uh how it did with the weber okay so it's been half an hour 
and that looks about the same. Okay, looking at this, I would say it did uh, an amazing job here. Here, this is excellent, very clean. It's a little rough at the edges, probably had some difficulty reaching it, but that's minor. Look how clean and nice this is. There's some pitting, that's just from the barbecue, from the fire, but I think it really did an amazing job cleaning up here. So I'm impressed. So I would say it's it's very helpful for the Weber. It's excellent. Um, as far as the Kamado Joe or the Green Egg, I I don't know. I don't. I, I wouldn't buy it for myself. But uh, if you're buying it as a gift for someone, um, who someone who I guess who has everything is very much into barbecuing, I think it is a nice gift. Um, I think it cleaned it really well here. Here didn't really get this baked on stuff off over here as well. Uh, but overall, it really did a nice job. So, I think overall I'd recommend it. I really would recommend it. Um, you'll have to make that decision for yourself. But hopefully this gives you a better idea uh, as to whether or not you should uh, buy it. Take care and be well. Oh, and uh, just one last thing. I thought I would show this to you. Uh, you just actually just push the button, push the middle. And this comes off. That's really nice. Very easy. Easy to wash these. I will say the design really is fantastic. Easy to clean that and whatnot. It's a really well thought out product. So just one last uh, thought for you guys. Take care.